Robert Hanna. I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences here at Waikato. And my topic for the inaugural lecture is Measuring Time in Antiquity, Archaeoastronomy in the Greek and Roman Worlds. My area of research for many years has been to do with time, representations of time, how we measure time, uh, the social experience of time. And lumped in with that is the idea of archaeoastronomy. And if I can define that for you in two or three simple sentences, that is essentially the use of astronomy for cultural purposes by societies in the past. We still use astronomy nowadays, but of course it's been very largely taken over by the astrophysicists. In terms of uh, antiquity, astronomy is the oldest science. And it remains a long-standing science, of course, right through to the present day. But in the ancient world, it started life very much as a way of looking at the stars and using them to help us to understand the passage of time. And primarily, we will be looking at farming communities, agricultural communities, but also seafarers, uh, travelers, traders over the deserts, as well as the sea, having to find the right time to do certain things. And all the way back to ancient Babylonia, uh, we can certainly say from 1000 BC, but certainly earlier than that, we have records that indicate that they were looking at the stars to be able to know when to plant seed, when to uh, reap it, and when to uh, plough the ground as well. I think the lecture will be of interest to the public because it does have an aspect that affects New Zealand. And while I work primarily in the ancient Mediterranean world, which sounds very exotic, and I know New Zealand does love it. Nonetheless, there is a linkage between that world and the New Zealand world of the Maori and the Polynesian in particular. I think there's enough there for people to be interested in, come along, bring a friend, and enjoy. The University of Waikato, where the world is going.